so it's definitely more down. Stay there, there. Start again. How high do you want that arm to be up the top? Don't you like that? No, that, that's probably too high. That looks good. No, put it back. That's too low, though. Too short of swinging me. That looks good. So you can see the ball from underneath though, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is this arm here mm -hmm. getting that way as I lift higher is what I you know, so I transition like that. That's really what I want to do. Yeah. Can you give me a line up there? Put it put it where you want it. Where your arm is? Pretty good for that. Oh, that's Record pretty good. Yeah, I want to stay tracing down this today. Oh, there. There we go. Yeah, let me see that one. That wasn't that good of a shot. Okay, there's that. Okay. Go live again. Go straight down. That should be a lot better. Yeah. Alright, let's record one. Okay. That that feeling should be a lot better. Yeah, that's that's the transition I want, huh Tony? Yeah, see that that working more down. That's not as loopy at the top. Yeah. Okay, go live. Here, straight on that. No, towards the straight on that line. Alright, record, please. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. So let's take a look at this. Setup is perfect. So I mean that club going back is I it's perfect. We get right to there. Shafts parallel to the ground. Club's right in line. Great position. Hands are working off the shoulder joint. Great position at the top. Before, what would happen from this point? Oh, that it, it would just be kind of just cover over that red line, huh? Oh yeah, it would. It would. You would see the hands go working out. And oh, now, nice. okay. and then the arms now are just working better. So before, the hands would go more out. And then the club drops down and gets behind you. Now with those arms driving down better, now that's in a better position. That's a nice draw bias position right there. And then now, the only reason why you're not going through the ball is just because, you know, worried about the, key, uh, the cable right now. Right. Because it's raining out. But you can see we can get right now how straight of a line in a sense that is, even though it's on an arc. It's from this camera view, it, it should appear somewhat straight, and that's what we're looking for, because you can go faster in a straight line from this perspective, even though it's it's a curve. Yeah, what I like that is probably connected is, yeah, if you freeze it when the hands get to belt high, on the way down, uh, one, one frame back. Yeah, so see how, and this is something that Bender was telling you and I about, about uh, when the knees are parallel to the target line, my hands are already at my belt. Before, when my knees would be parallel to the target line, my hands would still be up by my ear. Yeah. So this is showing that that connection of not coming out is helping my sequence more. So what is your sensation? What is your feel on creating this motion? It felt much more, the hands felt much more down 
and and less like less like forward and more more down and then and then through. Okay. So it, it felt it really felt um, like diagonally down. Okay. Like, just like they're on little railroad tracks and you're going diagonally down. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So well, how let me let me ask you this. How how what was the video response to the live view? You saw the live view plus camera in the in the uh, video glasses what was your sensation on that feedback right there yeah let's go live for a second okay and i'll talk about that so in the camera right now guys i can see i can see a line on the shaft and i can also see kind of a little line up here so here i'm really feeling what does that feel like and to me it really feels not so much before i think i was thinking right arm reduction from here so I was going like that a little bit too much oh you know? okay yeah so I was mixing in this with it's more diagonal adduction I guess well which makes sense because the body's tilted over so right. kind of drawing I'm gonna just draw a quick line go ahead and get in your posture so great posture so go ahead and take it up to the top and hold it so now if you think about it a deduction is, is more this way right you so know. to connect with that line, I got to go. Yeah, exactly. Because if you just go out from the top, then that would be too much. Yep. So it's got to work down. So that sensation of working down gets you back. Well, I stuck around. Right. One more. Hit record. Okay. There you go. So it's definitely more down. Great. I didn't see the ball. Split How was it? The right. Split to the right. Okay, good. As long as it wasn't, usually I'm in a solid pool. I right, swing around. Just see how that trace was in transition. Yeah, that's so much better. Yeah, that looks great. I mean, look at look at this takeaway right here. I mean, that's just dead on right there. Right there it is. Look how how much better that is. That's great. Good work. All right, reporting from the future. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan DeVore, Be Better Golf. Uh, we're doing this kind of stuff at the golf school, and we're getting more and more equipment as Tony's getting plugged more and more into the uh, some high-tech grants and some other things. So uh, if you're interested in coming to a Be Better Golf school, go to bebettergolf.net slash school. I think our next one is going to be possibly in Florida in a few months, so we're still uh, working at the details. Or we really want to do one in... Uh, Northern California, we don't have a location yet, so if you have an idea, let us know. See ya, bye. Hey golfers, Tony with Reactionary Golf. Got Brent Ruckert here, head professional at Old Atlanta Golf Club. We just finished up our two-day Be Better Golf School. Say hi. Hello. So, I'm exhausted. This has been great, but guess what? We're not done yet. we still got people working. We've got Todd over here. Now, thanks to Live View Pro and Live View Plus and their, their software and their technology, which is really awesome. We're actually able to augment some of the lines you've seen through analysis, now be able to do it live. So he's wearing our Vizix headset. So Todd, why don't you run us through kind of a little bit on what you kind of feel and see and how does the Live View Pro and the Live View system a uh, live view plus camera work with this headset to help you improve your golf game this weekend there's no more guessing on what you have to do it's right here in front of your face and it just makes it a lot easier for me uh more of a field player anyways than checking everything but this made sure i've gotten the right spots okay love that grip get that thumb back on top where it belongs there a little bit more right thumb. so we've been working hard and this is stuff like this with live view system is just phenomenal he can make changes i don't have to even be here to get those changes made now we do this exaggeration drill where it gets a little laid off in order to stop crossing the line so let's go see it man now i can just look underneath it and let's go ahead and uh, hit the shot only if you like it dead straight okay so that's some of the technology that we use at our Be Better Golf Schools and Reactionary Golf. Again, great facility. Check this range out. Got Brendan finally showing up. He's been playing golf all afternoon while we've been working, but that's okay. So thanks, guys.
Uh, for more information, check out reactionarygolf.com. Come and join us inside the lab. You can wear cool stuff like this. And you get to hang out with these guys right here. See ya.